What is going on everyone? Welcome to the channel and today we're going on an adventure But today is a real adventure because I always say adventure but like you know today is kind of a more of an adventure Because we're, we're climbing a volcano an yeah, actual volcano <laughs> and there's lions too and Hopefully we don't get eaten by lions Hopefully I think it's gonna be fine other people have done it I I've never heard of anyone that got attacked don't by a lion I guess those people don't come like, back don't to tell their story it. though <laughs> anyway, so we're almost there and we're gonna see you guys at the bottom of the volcano. See you there. It's a little bit more chilly than what we thought. Good thing I brought a windbreaker. So guys, we just started the ascension of Mount Logonot. 2,776 meters above sea level and yeah it's actually a volcano last eruption was in the 19 no the 1860s 18, yeah. and the next one could be today who knows <laughs> please not <laughs> oh probably not <laughs> so those right here are the emergency numbers so make sure to write them down before going up <laughs> I have them <laughs> So Tracy's in charge of emergency numbers. She took them at the bottom at the at the office. You gotta be prepared, guys. It's like you never know what could happen. So as you can see behind me, it's a little bit uh, cloudy slash foggy. But at this time of the year in Kenya, uh, probably at around 11 or 12, it's gonna get like much more clearer. I can already see the sun peaking, so should get better. We can already see some impalas there. Maybe you can, but I can. So we've been climbing for three hours. No, about like five minutes and we're already taking our jackets off. I was like, <laughs> that was a dumb idea to put them on. We knew yeah. this was gonna happen. Oh well. <laughs> it's all it's all better from, from now on. But look, there's already a very nice view. <laughs> That's where we started down there. Short sleeve, much better. Let's do this again. Like we started 19 minutes ago and the view is already pretty nice. So for our honeymoon, Tracy and I actually went to Italy and we visited a place called Cinque Terre. It's basically five small villages that are built on a mountain and to go in between those villages you actually have to walk and yeah and it's a place where stairs are literally infinite and Tracy's having some flashback of chicken tere here we're like you round the corner you're like you can't be anymore yeah. and there's more and then there's more stairs <laughs> so we just came up all the stairs and we came across it looks like a little picnic area and I think in the back I like porta potties at house Every time I reach a hard to reach area and I see some sort of like small building or whatever, cement I'm stairs. like, how do people bring like cement and material for the roof and everything on top of a mountain? Like, a lot of hard work and sweat. That's some there. real hard work. Yeah. Props to those people. <laughs> we are at a crossroad, guys. Tracy says we should go this way because there's branches there. We'll see if she's right. So when we were just going up the stairs, I was like, it can't be that much further. I was like, I don't see any more mountain. Come around the corner. And I was like, oh, that looks pretty steep. And on the steepest part, I see like a girl with a pink jacket. I'm like, oh, okay. You're Here gonna go. be that girl with a, with a purple jacket real soon. Struggling, struggling. <laughs> Let's go. There's just so much fog that we couldn't see like the second no. part of the mountain basically. And now it's slowly going away and we're like, Oh, it's getting higher and higher by the second. A little water break. You gotta stay hydrated. Yeah, I did not drink water this morning yet. <laughs> That's a bad idea. <laughs> it is. This there is where we started, all the way down there. You're doing good. Struggle bossing it, and we'll get there. <laughs> I 
So guys, we just made it on top of the volcano, but it's it's a strato volcano. Strato volcano. Strato volcano. Excuse my <laughs> French here. So basically, like chances are, it's never gonna erupt again. But you never know. But the view we have, you know, if you look out from where we're from, the view is very very nice because oh, yeah. we're high. But the view inside of the volcano, inside the crater, is just I wasn't ready for that. And I think on my way up, I was still thinking that it was. A mountain. I knew it was a volcano, but I kind of forgot. So when we came right to like the edge, I it's was like, oh man. Unbelievable. Like that is an crazy view. Yeah. So now we're going to do the walk around. How, how much is it? Seven kilometers? 7.1. 7.1 kilometers around. And we'll let you guys know if we see it's like up here. an eruption or a giraffe or a lion. I don't think there's any giraffes around the river. I don't think there's either lions either. So. <laughs> <laughs> So while we are currently walking on this very nice and flat area, I can finally catch my breath and talk to you guys about today's sponsor, which is Throne. Throne is a chat-based app where you can actually communicate with your community. And because it's community-centered, this is why I decided to partner with them today. So when you download this app, there is a different function which allows you to not only support your favorite creators by sending tips or also having membership, but you can also join for free and be part of the conversation and this is what I really like about that app because I don't like leaving people behind if they can't you know subscribe or whatever so there's the option there so while we are still climbing I'm gonna make my first post right now on throne which is gonna be a little welcome message for everyone who wants to join and a nice picture of me and Tracy on Mount Lagunat send so if you want to join my chat room and engage with me and also with the community with like-minded people, first link in the description, you'll be able to download the Throne app for free. How great is this? Look at that guys, literally in the clouds. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Can't see nothing anymore. Still pretty cool. It sounds really weird, but I've always wanted to be in the clouds. You know when you're like a little kid and you see those pictures of people hiking and like they're in the clouds? I'm in the clouds! <laughs> I'll still see higher. <laughs> So when you arrive like at the top of the trail where the craters start, the sign that you saw actually says 2560 meters, but the actual height when you go to the highest peak, which we're almost on top of, is actually 2776 meter according to the internet. But it was the top. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like <laughs> this is just flashback Italy vibes all the way. <laughs> Except we weren't in the clouds. Yeah, that's true. Because of the clouds, we hit a peak and we're like, oh, this is the top. And then we get to the top and we're like, oh. <laughs> but I should say... Every time Tracy thinks that we're there, the clouds go away. And then there's another peak that's just a little bit higher. <laughs> but I should say, we also made the mistake of going left and not right. We were told to go right and like, after we were probably like half hour into the hike, we're like, oh crap, we went left. <laughs> Oh well. Apparently the uh, the other way is a little bit easier. It's more like, you know, soft climb. We're going up all the down. So it's fine. We got this. I got this. Tracy's a little bit out of breath. But. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> okay, guys. I think this is it. This seems to be the highest point. 2,776 meters. We did it, Tracy. Oh, we did it. Again, there's a lot of clouds in front of us, but I really... Like, I, I can't I'm, see down anyway. I'm 90% sure that this is the highest. Fingers crossed. Ah, little water break? Yeah. Okay. Well, that one's colder. <laughs> I'm gonna insulate it. It's a little chilly up here. <laughs> Taking a little sandwich time. <laughs> I just said... Tracy says sandwich instead of sandwich. <laughs> I say sandwich. Sandwich. <laughs> anyway. 
I try to explain her that it's not proper, but she still do it. So I made those this morning. Ham, cheese, and mustard on a bagel. I made them myself with love. You did. Can you taste the love? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. The love taste is really overpowering in this one. <laughs> now we're off. Going again. Tracy's filming now because I'm finishing my sandwich. Yeah. Do a good job. <laughs> I was like filming and walking straight on this path with a cliff on either side. <laughs> I do it all the time. Yeah. Not all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you guys remember when I said I think we're at the highest peak? Maybe we weren't. Because now there's this peak there, and there's another one behind the clouds there. That looks pretty high. But at the same time, Tracy's right. Like we're going like up and down quite a bit. So it's very hard to tell if that's actually the highest one or not. When you said we're at the highest peak, it looks like the highest peak looking at all of them. Yeah. So it's hard to tell. Yeah. What do you think? 50%? We're definitely halfway or maybe a little bit further. Look at how cool the clouds are. They're just like falling from the sky. As expected, it's about 1130. The fog is slowly trying to go away and the sun is coming out as well so it's starting to be pretty nice here i made it <laughs> and guys for the third time we found the peak it's just behind us right there i don't know it's further than that it's really high you ready trace i'm ready okay I'm not. we got Let's it go. we got Let's it go. Let's, go. Let's go Tracy just gave me permission to film her struggle now. <laughs> At this point, it's okay. Oh, I was saying the opposite. I was like, you can stop filming me struggling. Oh. oh. Oops. <laughs> Communication stuff. It's all good. You'd think that right now we're pretty much at the highest point, but if you look in the back, once again, there's higher. Fourth time. This is the final one. This is the highest one. Don't fall. It's a long way down. <laughs> We just met some subscribers and I told them if you don't see any other uploads from us, that means we fell in the crater. Send help. This is it. The final peak. Right there. Little steep, but we're gonna make it. A lot steep? Yeah, you got it. You're like 90% done. I know I got it, but I'm at the point where I just hurt <laughs> and I'm done. I mean, it's not like you can give up because. No, you can't. <laughs> you're, you're nowhere. So I'll see you at the top. So I'm no geologist, but those rocks, like the black ones like that, are like volcanic rocks. And they're like, they were some sort of like lava. Something like 150 years ago or something like that. Boo! I saw you. Oh. This is it. We finally made it to the highest peak, and this time we have the sign to prove it. So <laughs> we're good. Time to make our way back down. This is quite steep, guys. I don't think the camera can capture like how, how steep, steep it is. Yeah, no, it's it it's is. It's slippery. It's not just steep. Like, yeah. Because as you can see there, it's really like sandy everywhere. <laughs> as you can see, very slippery. I'm doing my best not to fall. I catch myself, I'm good. Almost there. <laughs> if I don't die first. <laughs> Do your best. <laughs> like once you get the forward momentum, you can't stop. <laughs> this feels like a skiing downhill kind of thing. Look at that. Pretty fun. <laughs> it's so nice now because the sun is finally out. The sun's gonna rise. But always on the wrong time around. Stop by the road. No one is awake by the sun. 
the sky is finally much clearer and now we can actually really see and appreciate the crater of and Mount Lagunat. The Super nice. Up, it's right there. Is it? Yeah. It's on from the other side though. Yeah, so like this is this is behind us the official highest peak. All the other ones that you see there are all the highest peak that we thought were the highest one, but because of the cloud we can see properly. So, but we did it. And it's uh, 2,780 meters according to the sign up top. So pretty cool. So guys, we almost, almost made it. We're, we're, we're almost there. What, why, why is the, why is it shaking Tracy? Why is it shaking? Oh my God, it's erupting. Run. Run. <laughs> I'm just joking guys, uh, chances are it's never gonna erupt ever again, so, mm, boring. So when we first started walking, our mistake was, that first one that you can see, we thought that was the summit. Then you get over there, we're like, oh, that one probably is. Then you get there and you can't see it, and we're like, oh, that one is for sure. That big one that's still stuck in the clouds, that was the actual <laughs> summit, at the end. <laughs> So once you reach the crater at the top of the little path, basically if you go left and all around the summit, the true one is actually the last peak that you're gonna climb. But if you go right, it's actually the first peak that you're gonna climb. And I feel like a lot of people are going up, reaching the crater, turning right, going up the highest peak and just coming back. So if you go the other way, less busy. So as you can see uh, behind me, it gets quite busy. Right now it's Sunday, it's just past one. So if you want, you know, that little peaceful hike around the crater, highly suggest earlier in the morning. This is it, it's time to go back down and I can tell you right now, there is so many people now, like so many. Oh yeah. So again, earlier in the morning is better. I definitely recommend. Oh yeah. If I have to inhale more of your dirt. <laughs> oh, my poor lungs. <laughs> because I'm going down like super fast. And you're like skating down? Yeah, and I make like big clouds like that and Tracy's like, I can't breathe. <laughs> it's not my fault I'm, if I'm so fast, I'm just too fast. As much as we didn't see nobody going up, we're seeing a ton of people who are going up right now while we're going down. And I have to say, everyone on Mount Loganaut right now is just too nice. Everyone's smiling, everyone's saying hi, how are you, asking questions, how far are we from the top? We actually took a few photos from a few subscribers as well. That's what we meant by more people. When we were coming up this morning, I think I saw like three people on the hill. Now there's got to be over 50. We are back to the stairs, meaning that we're almost there. What you doing, Tracy? Apparently I got blisters and they burst. Huh. So I was like, why did that sting? It happens. It happened. It's Some battle scar right there. <laughs> because I always care about you guys and I always want to provide a value, here's a fun fact about some of the trees that are here. How fun is this? If you're Kenyan, you probably know that. But if not, those trees right there live in perfect symbiosis with some fire ants. So as you can see, they have like those little bubbles that the tree formed for the ants to live in. And in exchange, if an animal or someone or whatever is trying to eat the tree, break the tree, those ants are quickly getting out and attacking the bad person slash animal. Yeah. Fun fact of the day. See, if you shake it, so as soon as you shake it, there's like little ants that come out. I can't, I don't want to touch it because I don't want those ants to like bite me, but I'll do it anyway. See them going all around, trying to find who's the assigned. It's me, I'm running away. You'll never get me. And we are back to the ground floor. Tracy, you made it. I did. You proud? I am proud. I'm I proud of you too. Chuck these sneakers though. <laughs> Little shoes problem. And as expected, like I said, when we first started, at this time of the year, it was very foggy and gray when we first started. And now it's like almost blue sky with a nice sun. It's yeah. nice and warm. It is nice and warm. It's perfect, Tracy, say it. It's perfect. You didn't say it in a while. <laughs> it's true, I haven't. <laughs> so I can almost see the car. I can for sure see the gate. We're gonna be out of here in a second. So we are pretty much at the exit. Um, the entire thing, like my watch says about like 12 kilometers. Tracy's watch says what, like 15, 15 or something. On the dot. So it's about like, I would say like four kilometers going up, four kilometers going down, about like seven kilometers, 7.1, I think, to mm -hmm. do the entire rim. Uh, if you don't want to do the entire rim, I'm telling you, like just going up to the rim and see into the crater, just that is completely worth it. 
So you don't have to do this entire crazy hike if you don't want to. Just the just the crater view, amazing. Tracy, you agree? It was an amazing view. It was really, really it nice. Was worth it. Overall, a very nice hike. And now, I don't know now what. I don't know what. <laughs> we have Tracy and I have zero energy left. So yeah. But I might have a solution for that. We finally made it back to the car. There's a ton of people now. So I'm telling you once again, early in the morning is better. Now we're just gonna drink a ton of water, which that's gonna make us feel better for sure. Do you feel better now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at how dusty my shoes are. Actually, I'm dusty like everywhere. Like it's crazy, I can't wait to take a shower. Guys, just sitting in the car feels glorious. I'm pretty sure I have blisters in between my toes. <laughs> That's possible. <laughs> Very possible. All right, so it's time for us to go back home. But guys, look what we snagged. The first time we've seen them in Kenya. We can't find them in like any grocery stores or anything. We gotta check the but, like, food plus. Yeah, fair enough. But like yeah. Carrefour and everything, like we can't find them. No. But like here at the national park in that little shop, <laughs> they had two. It was a 560 Kenyan shillings each. That's crazy expensive, but we really wanted them. You know how much we like them. Especially and after the hike, that is so worth it yeah. right now. Need some more energy to drive back. But yeah, we're gonna go back home, take a shower. Yeah. And now uh, once again, well, don't forget to look at the link down below. It's a very yeah. good way to support us. It's free to download and it's a super fun app where we can actually well, engage with our community, which yeah. is one of our favorite things. So make sure to check that link down below. And otherwise, Tracy went through a lot of pain and a lot of effort to go up that mountain for this video. So make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and see you guys in the next one. <laughs>